What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about one of the secrets to being present in this moment and how exactly you can begin to go nowhere and enjoy every second of it. We're living in this beautiful playground that we call the world. And you have the opportunity to play whatever character in whatever role that you would like to in and on this magnificent playground. One of the ways that we begin to do that is by learning what it looks like to be present. Now when I talk about being present or a present mindset, it's to let go of all future thoughts and all past thoughts. Now, this is one of the biggest hurdles that you might face because the problem is, man, the mind has been programmed both subconsciously and honestly, you consciously now probably do it as well, to think continuously about your past. This becomes your narrative. This becomes the you or the I that you believe you are. This is what I call ego. I believe that I am this. This is the you. The you that you believe you are is incapable of truly being present in this moment because it is purely identified by the past and therefore it is taking all that past information and projecting it into the future. I have conversations with lots of students and clients, my coaching clients, uh, on a continual basis, especially when I first start with a client or a student. And the very thing they say to me is, why can't I do this thing? Why can't I be present? And I tell them, you're not present because you keep saying you can't. Because on a subconscious level, you actually believe that you fucking can't be present. In order to begin to reverse that, you, both, you have to begin to learn how to program or reprogram that subconscious. But first, you must consciously, the trick to programming the subconscious is to first consciously recognize that I can be present. That I can be present. And then we'll start to program the subconscious to do that. But you first have to make the conscious decision to be present. So this whole week, I'm going to actually talk to you about what it looks like to be present. And uh, so every video this week is going to be about being present and um, how different ways to be present. If you really want to explore this further, check out the metaphysical mindfulness class that I'm going to be running this September. And it's going to be a beautiful, I'll drop the link below. It's going to be a beautiful class full of rich, intoxicating uh, practices and beautiful things that you can participate in just all on being present in this moment every creative thing that you will ever do really should begin with being present now you can create outside of the present you can create because you're really have this drive to create something future tense but the truth is that it's all happening right here and now i need you to recognize everything that you're experiencing right now is right now. <laughs> you might be experiencing it through a lens. For instance, if you're judging this video and being like, well, I don't know, I don't know about this. That's through a lens. Or if you're even saying, ah, I really like this video, that's through a specific lens that you've already developed, that the person that you believe you are has developed. That's okay. Every single one of you is experiencing this video in a very different way. For us to really truly be present, the more that you sink into the present mindedness, the more that you dr drop those lenses, those preconceived notions, those judgments, and you really, your body and mind are really open to the moment and to whatever is coming. It's almost like and uh, it's a euphoric state and it's almost like dropping from what I've heard, it's almost like dropping acid where your body opens up to the universe, where your mind and your consciousness opens up to this whole universe and now you are wide open to experience all the joys and the beauty of oneness and the playground in a way that you never have before. So, what is the secret today 
to being here, present, here's the secret of the day. Learn to go nowhere and enjoy it. Here's what I mean. Before I tell you what I mean, I want to share a story. Every time I ever go on vacation with my kids, you know that you know whenever we go on vacation, when the family, when Beth and the kids and I go on a trip, you know what's going to happen without fail. One of them kids is going to be like, when are we going to get there, Dad? And my answer to them for years has been this. We're here. And they go, what? What do you mean we're here? I'm like, we're fucking here, baby. Because we can't be anywhere else. Now, what I'm actually teaching them is uh, the secret that I'm teaching you right now. You're here. Every worry, every stress, every anxiety, every fear has, is, a, is a projection of the past mind into your future. That's all it is. But you're here. So when the mind and body touch the moment together, that's when you're actually fucking here. And that's when we're like, oh, God, look at this. I mean, look at this. We're fucking here, man. We're here. Oh, my God. My mind is blown. Look at how beautiful this is. Like, wow. It's so amazing. We're here. And here's the secret to recognize that you can never be somewhere else but here. Even if you're driving from point A to point C, you're always wherever you are. So even when you cross through point B, that's where you are. You're not trying to get somewhere. I'm just here, I'm in point B, this is where I'm at. I'm driving, I'm in this unknown state Yes, I realize that I'm going somewhere, but that going somewhere is a present expression of this moment. And so when I run into a traffic jam, I'm not frustrated. Ah, oh, man, this is so frustrating. No, I'm here. Or when, uh, you know, I finally arrive, I'm here. But I'm not more excited at the arrival than I am in this present place of the traffic jam because I'm always here. Now, the way to begin to do this, this isn't just theory for me, this is my life. The way to begin to, the secret to beginning to access that is to consciously make the decision every time the mind starts to project to touch your body. Find a, a stone. Touch is a huge uh, practice to being grounded in the moment. Touch something. I like to carry little stones around or you can... Um, I used to carry them around with me just in my pocket or a little something that would just ground me to be, bring me back to the present moment. Um, you can touch your body and it'll kind of ground you into the present moment. But to uh, let go of all of the past projection and the future, the future projection, the past mind and the future projection and to sink into this moment, here's what, here's what you just do. You, in your mind, close your eyes Picture yourself in this one moment, then open your eyes. Get a feeling of the moment you're in and of the perfection of the moment. The moment when you truly touch the now, here's what you realize, every moment is perfect. The only moments that aren't perfect are when you're not present in them because your mind is projecting. So touch the moment. It doesn't matter what the situation's going on in your life. So here's, 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 what, here's what's cool. You can meet two people, go through the exact same situation. One of them allowed that situation to completely destroy, devastate, and maybe even potentially destroy their psyche, their life. They, they have a very negative view of their life. The other one turned that situation into a positive. They're like, yeah, this has been amazing. My life is amazing. And I took that. Yes, most people saw it as negative, but I saw it as a positive. I saw it as fuel to build something. And so here's the deal. Everyone is seeing through one of those two lenses. Which lens are you seeing through? The one who's present in that moment can really go, I don't know why or how, but I know that this is good. There's a scripture in uh, the Bible that says, God works all things out for the good of those who love him. When you are standing in a present moment of love, which love is always present, that vibration of love is always, of true, unconditional love is always present. Most people love in a very conditional way. This has nothing to do with video. They love 
based upon what you've done for me or based upon where we're going, but true love is unconditional. When I stand in a position of unconditional love, so it's a timeless thing, then I'm always present. And so in that present moment of love, I can say, ah, this is good. I don't know why, I don't know how, but I know it's good. I know he's working it out for my good. And by he, I just mean what I am truly, what we are truly beyond the form is working everything that's going on in this form out for my good. And uh, so those are the two keys. One is purely mental sinking into the moment. The other is touch. Touch is just a powerful thing. I'll talk later about touch in a more uh, detailed way, but touch is such a powerful way to ground you. So find a little um, trinket or something that you can touch, something that you can carry to kind of like the, the, the movie. Um, uh, God, I can't remember the name of that movie, man. There's this movie where he had the little thimble that reminded him, not the thimble, but the spinner, the top that reminded him if it kept spinning, it wasn't real. It was Inception, the movie Inception. And if it fell, he recognized that it was reality. And this is kind of a way to kind of ground you in reality. And by reality, I mean perceptional reality. This moment here is real. This tree, the leaves blowing in the wind. Um, this is real. This is the only moment that I'm in. So it's pointless for me to think about uploading this video or to think about teaching a class later tonight or to think about what life is going to look like or what has been. This moment is real. And so I want to touch it. I want to fully touch it and learn to touch it deeply. Uh, this week I'm going to dive into these things in a more specific way. So this is kind of very a general introduction to what's going to be going on this week. But I want to dive in in a very general way. And um, to, be, to what it looks like to be present and to use that being present to create the life of your dreams and to just fucking start enjoying life, enjoying this playground a bit more. So if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, if you've made it this far, by God, you should. You should have already been subscribed. And um, check out the next video. I know it's going to be powerful. I don't know what the fuck it is, but I know it's going to be powerful. I know it's going to be good for you. Uh, I love you guys. You guys are so incredible. So amazing. Thanks for watching today. I'll talk to you soon.